shopping by Angel Gilding. I'm Alex and today our project is resilvering this concave automotive mirror. We're going to be using our 3D glass mirror kit and this kit is designed specifically to silver non-flat kind of a regular small pieces. So in general there's two basic ways to create a silver mirror. You can do the spray silver process or the pouring silver process. Now First off, I know that spray isn't necessarily the right process for me on this piece because this is small. And so when you spray it, you're gonna have a lot more overspray, which means that I would be wasting my chemicals. So I know that I'm gonna opt for pouring for this particular piece. However, it's not going to work in the traditional sheet glass process because that relies on being able to keep the glass level, and rely on the surface tension and the chemicals to flow evenly over the surface. And I just can't really feasibly do that on this concave type of surface. So I need another technique to apply the chemicals. And this kit utilizes our shallow bath technique, which means that we are gonna be holding the pieces in these trays and gently rocking the chemicals over the surface of the piece and that's going to allow to get into that slight curve of our piece. So this kit can be used on a lot of different pieces that are similar to this. So for example, I've got this glass rondelle here. It's a beautiful piece of glass and it's not completely flat and it's quite small. I also have a beveled piece. It's got some nice glue chipping and of course the beveled edge. Once again, not completely flat. And then I have this other piece, this bowl. And I wanted to show you this as an example of a piece that wouldn't work in this process. So regardless of which side I was gonna do, you know, if I wanted to silver this side and along here, the shallow bath isn't gonna work because it's not going to allow the chemicals to gently flow over the surface. And the same as the inside. So this is a piece that would make sense to do the spray process with or even our drip process. So I know for my piece here, the right process is gonna be the shallow bath technique. The 3D mirror kit has all of the different components that I need for this process. And today we are going to walk through that process. One thing I do wanna mention is that pouring silver is most often used for a second surface mirror. So what I mean by that is if you think of like a basic mirror, perhaps one that's in your bathroom, when you're looking at it, you're looking at the glass with the layer of silver behind it and the backing paint behind that. So the silver is on the second surface. If I wanted to silver the front surface of a piece, that's more often done with spray silver, but there are some exceptions. If you are silvering a piece for scientific purposes, then we just recommend that you reach out to us either in the comment box below or through the contact us page on our website, angelgilding.com, because we know that some of those mirrors are a bit more specialized and we'd be happy to advise you on the best process for your piece. But if you have a piece similar to ours, stay tuned and we'll walk you through the process. Our project today is resilvering of an old mirror. And so we actually need to first remove the original mirror layer, and that's gonna start with removing the backing paint. For that, we're gonna be using our multi-strip and a paint scraper. I'll include links of all of the products that we use in that description box below. But you can see here, I'm just applying a pretty even layer of the multi-strip. It's not essential that it's exactly even, but you know, you wanna get a, a relatively even layer and then let that sit on the surface. The amount of time that it needs really is gonna depend on the paint. So here I left it about 15, 30 minutes and then checked it. You can see, I'm just checking there and I can see that it has in fact lifted the paint so I can go ahead and scrape the surface off. Oftentimes on old mirrors, it has a copper layer and so I can see that that's what's showing once I lift this paint off. So gently scraping off the backing paint that's exposing my copper layer. And now I can give it a nice quick rinse off to remove any of that residual multi-strip. Now moving on to the mirror remover. Mirror remover is a multi-purpose remover and this is gonna remove both the copper and the silver layer at the same time just using a regular cotton swab, dipping that in the mirror remover. 
and then gently wiping that over the surface of the glass. When working to remove the mirror, you don't need to scrub aggressively, just take your time making sure that chemical comes in contact with all the surfaces that are mirrored. And you can see that it really does come up relatively easily there. Once I've rinsed off the mirror remover, I'm going to apply a vinyl mask. Now, as my piece is concave, I need to ensure that I'm masking the correct side of the glass, and that's going to be the opposite side of the piece that I'm silvering. So I'm masking off the side that I do not want to silver. Now the vinyl mask does come in the 3D mirror kit and I've just cut it down generally to size and pulling off the backing. The vinyl mask is gonna do two things for me. It's gonna provide a little bit of protection to the glass so that it is not scratched in the process and it's also gonna prevent the silvering from being deposited on the surface. Now, some of that silvering may creep over and we'll talk about that a bit later, that's not a big deal, but it does help to make that cleanup a little bit easier later on. Once that's done, now I'm gonna go into the deep clean. Cleaning is a really important part of the mirroring process. I'm using my powder cleaner. I've got my gloves on, I'm gonna be using gloves for the rest of the process and my sponge, and I'm working on my cleaning mat. You wanna have a designated clean area and really taking time to clean this. I always say that you're gonna clean that piece of glass that you mirror better than you've cleaned anything else. And even though I don't really worry about the other side, I'm still going to clean it well because I wanna make sure any kind of contamination is off of both sides, especially in the shallow bath technique because both sides are gonna come in contact with chemicals so I wanna make sure it's all clean. Next up, we're measuring the chemicals. I like to measure them so that I have everything ready to go for me. First up is the tin for silver. You can see I've got the dilution ratios listed for you there. Working with my 10 milliliter cylinder and my 16 ounce cup, now, Throughout the rest of the process, we're gonna be working with distilled water. What I'm doing there is I'm just rinsing out my 10 mil cylinder and also using that rinse water to dilute the tin for silver. I'm measuring up to my three ounce line. Now I've got that tin for silver ready to go. I can measure out each of the three solutions here. So we've got pouring silver solution, pouring silver activator, and our dosage cups. I do find that it's helpful in the 3D process to use a little bit more of the chemicals than I might use in the sheet glass process. That's a little bit of a personal preference, but what's essential is that you're using equal portions of each of the three chemicals. That's really important to make sure that the chemistry works properly. Now I'm moving on to the actual silvering process. First off, rinsing it really well. As you recall, I cleaned the piece really well. Now I'm rinsing it with the distilled water. Once again, distilled water throughout. Now I'm using my tin tub. This kit comes with three specific tubs. First you saw the rinse tub. Now we've got the tin tub. And just pouring that tin over the surface. And you can see what's happening here is it's just creating a shallow bath of the chemicals that will gently rock over the surface. So I just gently rock the piece back and forth for at least 30 seconds. If it ends up being a minute, that's okay. 30 seconds is just kind of a general guidepost. Then lifting the piece out, going back to that rinse tub and then rinsing really, really well. Rinsing is one area where people can run into trouble by not rinsing enough. So really take your time, rinse that piece really well, front and back, making sure any excess tin has been rinsed off of the surface. Once you're confident that you've got that piece fully rinsed off, you can use your silver tub. Now you can see that I've already used this tub before, so it does have some silver on there, but it's just silver and that's a designated tub, so it's certainly okay to use that again. 
because it's not cross-contamination. It's all the same product. Now I've combined those three chemicals together and I'm pouring them over the surface of the glass. Once again, gently rocking it. So I'm allowing this to deposit for about three to five minutes and you want to rock it back and forth. The chemicals need to wash over the surface especially in this shallow bath technique this allows the chemicals to really flow evenly if i just let the piece sit there then you may find that there's one part that because of gravity they just don't get to the chemicals just don't reach and obviously that would, would create an uneven deposit so just gently rocking it back and forth once i feel like i've got a really brilliant silver finish then i lift it up take a look and rinse it really well. Just put a little note there, you can see, you know, take a look, we do have a waste treatment kit as part of this kit, and there's a whole other video and information about the waste treatment kits. So certainly take a look at that, and then tilt it to dry. You'll want to make sure that you allow it to dry completely. And once that silver is fully dry, then you're gonna go ahead and paint the silver. Now, before worrying about that vinyl on the other side, you're going to want to paint the silver and that's going to protect it. We're using a really nice foam brush here, but a foam roller is also a really good option. Now that we've fully silvered our piece, we've painted the back of it to protect it. We just have some finishing touches as you'll recall, we put that vinyl mask over the front of our mirror. So we're gonna to wanna to lift that off. And the advantage of having this vinyl mask is twofold. One, it protected the glass so that it didn't get scratched during the process, but it also makes this cleanup easier. It's inevitable that we're gonna have some cleanup. You know, some silvering or paint can creep under the surface a little bit, um, but it does make cleanup easier. All I really have is just a little bit of paint here. So I'm actually just gonna use the edge of a flat razor blade here and just scrape that up. That comes up nice and easily there. And there we go. I've got my fully silvered concave mirror. And as you saw, this is a pretty unique process. It's a really great solution for some of your more unusual mirrors. And we know that this is something that may be a little bit confusing, and you may have some questions on if this is the right process for you. So certainly leave those questions in the comments below, or you can always email us through our Contact Us page on our website, angelgilding.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are in the know on all of our future videos. And check out that website, angelgilding.com. Thanks for stopping by.